Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And this morning my ship is pulling into a place called Amber Cove, also known as Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic. And today I'm going to go on a sightseeing tour around the area here. And with all these mountains you see behind me, it looks like it could be a very interesting sightseeing trip. So hop on to the bus with me and let's go around and see what it looks like here here is a beautiful sight as we're pulling in here first thought that was a lighthouse but no let's see what that is it's just i don't know what you call it <laughs> there's some people there Taking pictures of me. <laughs> nice. And here we have, I guess it's a big hotel. And there is the dock. That will be the dock we're pulling into. Everything is a little hazy this morning. Look over there. This is some beautiful scenery at this port. Is that a big rock standing up there? Something like that. Well, it's covered with vegetation. There's a road coming down from the other side. And here's a hotel or commercial area. And just to the left of that is what looks like a really nice beach. Let's see if there's anybody here yet. No, nope, doesn't look like it. It's too early in the morning, I guess. The sun is, isn't shining this morning, it's so cloudy. This is the little bus that we're on and we stopped here in a section of town. They're going to walk around for about an hour and see some of the sights. They still have their Christmas decorations up like this big Christmas tree. Here's a statue of uh, that man. So here we got and another one over here. Doesn't say who it is. Guarding the entrance to the park here. This building, the yellow one, is the city hall. We're going to go in and see this Catholic cathedral. It's a jewelry and a cigar store, all in one. <laughs> right downtown here, they have a lot of these really narrow one-way streets. And you see about as many motorbikes as you do cars. And they're all small motorcycles and motor scooters. But this is Sunday, so a lot of the stores are closed. 
one thing I don't like about these kind of tours is that like when the bus stopped the guide said okay we're gonna be here for an hour so I expected an hour of walking around and looking at the buildings and things instead he takes us to this gift shop and souvenir shop and says he's giving us 35 minutes to shop in there <laughs> I not only don't want to buy anything, I didn't actually even bring a single dollar with me. <laughs> so instead of looking around at the store, I decided to walk around the streets a bit here. Now if I was into collecting masks, <laughs> it might be a different thing. But I just don't need any of these things. <laughs> Mama Juana. Mama Juana. Mama Juana. Well, they did give me a sample of this. Mama Juana. <laughs> well, it does taste good. This is what it is. It is making me feel a little funny. <laughs> and it's organic. I wonder how well that would work on her. Here's a very attractive native lady. <laughs> but then some of them turn out like this. Uh-oh. How do you like these pretty faces? <laughs> Ooh, it looked like she had a bad day. Here's some nice artwork on the side of this building. Somebody likes pink down this alley. She found a place to sit and read her book. How do you like this? <laughs> From what the tour guide said, everything seems to be pretty cheap here whole coconut drinks for one dollar it is starting to drizzle I might need one of those umbrellas <laughs> and the uh, great they have up there this place has natural ice cream I usually eat the unnatural ice cream now we've driven up the mountain to see the National Park up here he said there's lots of variety of flowers. That's a pretty one. And look at this. There's an interesting bridge. That's some pretty amazing trees here too. You want to see a typical house? There it is. Yeah. For 40 or 50 years, when they built in wood like this. Wow. Two or three years, they need to replace the gate because... And it's air conditioned. <laughs> this one is very strong, but this And what is this little house next to it? I don't think it's been used for a long time. How do you like this swimming pool? I have no idea how nice the, wa the water is. <laughs> well, this says that's a lagoon. Doesn't look very lagoony to me. And this national park has a statue that you're not going to find in any American national park. This is a duplicate of the statue in Brazil at about 50% the size of that one. And inside this building is an art gallery for sale, souvenirs, gift shop. And here's some information you can read about it. Unfortunately, today, this is just like 
we're up in the middle of a cloud that is just all you can see here just can't see anything beyond these bushes here all fogged out even zooming into the head that's all you can see so then Jesus Christ as you know made of bronze 45 feet high it's a cop well I guess this is not a good place to go hunting <laughs> like people would well now we're down from the mountain and at the beach I'm not going to go in to the beach they stopped just to let us get out for a few minutes and take some pictures it's a restaurant right there and they have a couple of these bed swings or if you prefer just a solid bed <laughs> this looks like some really nice fine sand here and they've got some small islands off of the coast that right there is some kind of a statue there's a bigger island here very windy I can't tell how rocky or smooth the bottom is here in the water but there's people walking around there's a couple islands you could actually swim out to I think and the guide said that by law all beaches Dominican Republic are public beaches so you can't have a private beach I think he said it, any private property has to be uh, I forget so many feet away from the shore and here the water is going underneath the bridge the, and over the bridge is the highway or the road that follows along the coast well this is the last stop to see this fort called Fort San Felipe built in 1577 to protect the land from pirates although I don't see how that could possibly help much <laughs> since the fort is just in that one little place there's a lot of more land from both sides one little fort there I don't know here's a shot of the bay to the left of the fort built in 1577 the guide told us and this statue you see the name of the person there I have no idea who that is but must have been somebody really important and there's another building up here I don't know what that is looks like an, another fort and a tower here I don't know what the tower is about either. They sure keep a nice lawn here. And here's what the coastline looks like right at the park here. Very, very rocky. Well, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video it's been a nice day except for being rainy and very foggy up in the mountaintops where that 
Christ the Redeemer statue was. Hope you enjoyed it. Good day, folks.